Here we go folks, it's start 11 prediction time for tomorrow's game at home against Aberdeen. Before we get started tonight though, some housekeeping first. You can vote for your Celtic goal of the decade over on our Instagram channel. You can see the graphic there below, it's at Celtic Fans TV on Instagram. It's on today's story and it will be on the homepage as a highlight as well. So we've narrowed down a list of 8 goals. They are important goals, they're not the screamers, they're not the best team goals. Um, most of them are important in terms of winning a trophy, winning a league title um, or pivotal goals throughout a season. So you can vote for your favourite on our Instagram story, jump over there and do that. The other thing is we are looking at adding more content. Um, I know I keep saying this but I've been really, really busy. We are looking at more ideas to bring you more different content um, and that's coming up in the new year. There's obviously so many games right now, two games a week, so just churning out the, the normal match day content. Um, as a tough enough challenge. It's been really, really tough this month uh, trying to balance everything, but we're still churning out the, the normal match day content. Um, and like I say, the new stuff is coming up. It is coming. Saturday's game then, Aberdeen sitting in third. They've had an upturn in form, I would say, since the last time we played them. Um, it's still a little bit inconsistent. They've had three wins, two draws, and one defeat in their last six games. Uh, they can make it difficult for us at Celtic Park, we've seen it before, but we've got a really, really good record against them. To the team then, in goals, Fraser Foster, as it always is. At right back, I think Jeremy Frimpong is going to play. That was another good learning curve for him at Tynecastle the other night. It's a tough game for us, it's a physical game, um, and you really, really need to graft, and I think he'd done that uh, on Wednesday night. I think we're definitely going to see Bauer at some point, if not tomorrow against Aberdeen, I think he will play on um, Boxing Day against St Mirren. But I think it'll be Frimpong tomorrow. Centre half, Julian and Aya. I thought Julian was superb again the other night. Um, love him to bits, he's been absolutely brilliant since he came in. But if he could just spend a wee bit less time on the floor, that would be brilliant. <laughs> um, Aya alongside him, again, very, very good the other night. Left back, Johnny Hayes came in. Um, raised some eyebrows because obviously Bollingoli, who had been back in the team, dropped straight out of the squad. A lot of people wanted to see Greg Taylor start at Tynecastle. Neil Lennon went with Johnny Hayes. I think he'd uh, maybe a tough start to the game in the first half um, in terms of his touch on the ball and stuff, his passing, but I thought ideal type of game for him. I mean, if, if, if you pick a game that Johnny Hayes was to play, it'd be Tynecastle, um, where it's tough, you need to graft, and he'd done that. Neil Lennon says he's struggling, still struggling with his shoulder, so I think Bolling is going to come back into the squad. Again, I, I would like to see Greg Taylor. Neil Lennon talked at length about Greg Taylor today um, in, in the press conference saying that he's, he's came in, he's done well, it, we want him to be a, a regular first team starter in the future, um, but there's competition in that position. So I think he's going to go with Bolling Goalie tomorrow, provided he's back in the squad and fit enough. In the midfield, the two that picked themselves, Scott Brown and Callum McGregor. In front of them, Olivier and Cham, who was really, really good the other night. Brilliant to see that from him in a game like that at Tynecastle. Showed his real quality. His goal was top-notch. It's very, very easy to underestimate how difficult that finish is because James Forrest, who had five or six opportunities to square it for Edward, um, which looked a much, much easier chance, gets to the byline, fires it back. It's coming at pace. It's about knee height. Um, the pitch obviously wasn't great the other night and he just side foot volleys it into the roof of the net. Great finish. So he played really, really well. I think he's going to continue in front of Brown and McGregor. On the right hand side, another superb performance the other night for Ryan Christie. Um, he's not at his best on the right hand side, but he's still absolutely brilliant and that shows you how well he's played in this season. A brilliant goal, an absolutely brilliant goal um, on the turn, into the bottom corner. What a player. What a player. I think... If you're to push people for a player of the season so far, um, most people would say Christie, and you absolutely can't argue with that. Christie on the right-hand side, Forrest again on the left, Mikey Johnston is back, Neil Lennon says he'll be in the squad. I don't think he's going to be fit enough to start. I don't think they'll throw him in for the start. I think we will see him at some point in the game, though. Um, James Forrest, again, I think he's going through... He's had a wee bit sticky patch of form of late. I think, obviously, done well. Uh, to eventually get the assist for the channel all night, but like I said, he was hesitant to square it for Edward. He had that chance right before half time where he seemed to have all the time in the world. It's a really poor finish, he took it too soon. So I don't know if he's a little bit low in confidence or just, just needs a rest. I don't know. He's obviously played a lot of games, um, but he just looks below that brilliant form that we've seen in, in recent years. But I fully expect him to start out on the left. 
I think Johnson will be introduced into the game at some stage. And up top, Odson Edward, who again, some of his link up play, I say it every week, his link up play is absolutely different class. Um, those touches, that little flick round the corner for Christie's goal, he takes four Hearts players out of the game. He's 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 gone down a blind alley, surrounded by Hearts players, um, and he, he does that wee flick and well, a flick and then a back heel. And then Christie scores. Absolutely brilliant. Um, had so so many chances as well. He's probably gutted that he didn't get in the score sheet. But affects the game in all sorts of ways. Um, and those goals will come from if he keeps getting those chances, the goals will come and hopefully it is tomorrow. So that's the team I've went with. Like the video, comment with your own thoughts below. Who do you think we'll see at right back? Left back's a big one as well. Do you think we'll see Ball and Goalie come back in? Um, would you like to see Taylor instead? Let me know. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We'll be back tomorrow with all the post-match content from Celtic Park and a Christmas special post-match pint from Malone's. Don't miss it. Thank you.